we will now create the contact definitions. This includes specifying the contact properties for the friction coefficient as well as the contact initialization behavior. We begin with creating the contact property. Switch to the first step of the simulation. This will ensure that the contact property will be created in the first step and be available to the subsequent steps. In the interaction section of the action toolbar, select the contact property tool. Specify a name for the contact property. Include tangential behavior and accept the default value of zero for the friction coefficient. We will later modify this behavior in step two to adjust the friction coefficient. Click OK to complete the contact property definition. Next, we will create the contact initialization. Contact initialization is required to specify that any initial overclosure between the components of the assembly are to be treated as interference fits. Before creating the contact initialization, make sure that the step one is still the current step. Select the contact initialization tool in the interaction section of the action bar. Specify a name for the contact initialization. And select the option to treat initial overclosures as interference fits. Click OK to complete the contact initialization definition. The contact property and the contact initialization created here will be used next to complete the contact definition. From the interaction section of the action toolbar, select the general contact tool. The general contact algorithm allows very simple definitions of contact and uses sophisticated tracking algorithms to ensure that proper contact conditions are enforced efficiently. In the general contact editor, select the previously defined contact property as the global property. Expand the contact initialization assignment field. Click Create Initialization Assignment. Accept the default and assign the previously defined contact initialization to the global surface pairs. This ensures a global assignment of the contact initialization to the entire general contact domain. Click OK to create the local assignment of contact initialization and OK a second time to complete the contact definition. Next, we will modify the contact property to adjust for the friction coefficient in the second step. Switch to the second step from the action bar Select the Tangential Behavior Override tool. In the editor, select the previously defined contact property. Enter 0.1 as the friction coefficient and click OK. The Tangential Override behavior modifies the frictionless property defined in step one 
and changes it to a value of 0.1 in the second step.